Your body is made up entirely of cells. You are a pile of cells, brain cells, bone cells, muscle cells, blood cells, and skin cells. Your cells all work together to create your thoughts, actions, and sense of well-being. How many cells do you think there are in your body? Hmm, at least a hundred. There are about one hundred trillion. Uh, is that a lot? Let's say you had one hundred trillion dollars. If you spent one million dollars a day, it would take you two thousand seven hundred thirty-nine years to go broke. Whoa, that's a lot. Your body replaces three to four trillion cells per day. If these cells were pennies, they could fill a football stadium to the top row of bleachers. Who cares? You should. The health of your cells is your health. What? It's very simple. If you understand how your cells work and what makes them healthy or unhealthy, you will unlock the secret of health and wellness. Imagine trying to build a house with low-quality raw materials. The same can be said with the human body. If you don't feed the cells the right raw materials, how can you produce a healthy outcome within the body? Listen close. The health of the cell is determined by how easily nutrients can enter the cell and how fast the cell metabolizes those nutrients. Okay, tell me more. Okay, let's first talk about how cells get fed. In order for your cells to be fed, you need nutrients to easily pass through the membrane. When you eat, your body produces insulin to travel along with the nutrients in your bloodstream. Insulin is like a key that opens the lock on the cell to be fed. When the cell membrane is soft and the lock opens easily, insulin easily opens the door and lets the nutrients in to feed the cells. When the membrane is hard and the lock is jammed, insulin cannot open the door and the cell starves. In this case, nutrients pass from your body or get stored as fat. What makes the outer shell hard and jams the lock? The main culprits are trans fats, also known as partially hydrogenated oil. Why? Because trans fats are terribly unhealthy. We'll learn more about them later, but basically they harden the outer shell and make it resist opening to be fed. They cause your cells to starve. Even though you are feeding your stomach, your body, which is made entirely of cells, is starving because insulin can't do its job properly. When this condition worsens, it can become type 2 diabetes, which is simply put, insulin resistance. No wonder Americans can't stop eating and we have an obesity epidemic. The food we eat is causing us to starve. This is one of the first areas that we'll mention it's not all about willpower. You didn't have the right information. Let's learn more. Now we'll discuss your metabolism, or how cells turn food into energy. Imagine each cell was a nightclub. The dancers on the dance floor would be the mitochondria. The more active the mitochondria and the faster they're dancing, the more calories your body will burn. In other words, the faster they dance, the higher your metabolism. You want your nightclub to be busy with lots of action and plenty of dancers, right? How do I attract more dancers to the club? There are three things you can do to get your mitochondria dancing. First, fire the bouncer. Trans fats have been nailing the door of your nightclub shut. Second, get better music. The nucleus is the DJ of the nightclub. The nucleus controls everything and has to have the right equipment to get the place hopping. And third, feed the dancers the right types of food to make them want to dance. You can accomplish all three of these things by exercising regularly, drinking more water, eating more fruits and vegetables, and most important, feed the mitochondria healthy fats. Doing these things will take your body from senior's polka night to Mardi Gras. <laughs>